Hey guys, and welcome to yet another refilmed video. Today I'm going to be giving deck reviews on the Steampunk decks. My last review I re reviewed the bronze one, the silver one hadn't come out yet, but I picked up one of these at my local magic shop, and here I am. So, uh, I'm going to go into the look aspect of both of these decks. Um, this box is one of my favorite boxes. I have to like, I think I like this one better, because it just looks more like metal, but they both give off that shimmer and look of metal or bronze. And so, yeah. Uh, I'll open both of these up. And you can take a look at the back designs. If I could, yeah. You can take a look at the back designs. They're the same, only with the coloring. I think I have to like the bronze one better. It's just more, it just pops more and it looks warmer, more inviting, I guess. So then, let's get into the Jokers. The silver one... Okay, so the bronze one, here's what the Jokers looks like. Look like. They're exactly the same, which is good for sandwich effects. Stuff like that. But yeah, there's the, the bronze one. And the silver one actually comes with a guarantee Joker, and a silver version of the bronze Joker. They both come with ad cards. These decks were both produced by Theory11. So, uh, ad cards and double backers are standard. They both come with those. So, let's get into the look aspect of both of these decks. Um, you get the darker red of all Theory 11 decks, and like everything, they're standard except for the recoloration. I really wish that Theory 11 would put out some more decks with um, custom face cards, more like the Sentinels. Uh, but even the Sentinels doesn't handle as well as some of the other ones. Uh, I'll take a look at the Ace of Spades. A cool, cool Ace of Spades. It does fit in with the whole theme of this deck, I think. And you kind of have to see it in person. It's a bit darker, but it does look really cool in person. So that's the look of the bronze one. Let's go over the silver one. Again, you saw the back design. And it has the same, like, dark theme and same standard... Not dark theme, sorry, dark red pips. And the the core cards are standard, but they do look a lot like B Stinger face cards. Which is very, very good. I really like these face cards a lot. Uh, they're hit with gray and all the other standard colors. So that's about the aspect of the look. I'll get into the handling. These decks handle a bit differently, I'd say. Mostly the same, but a bit different. Both of them are very smooth and have a really springy stock. A thin and springy stock, I should say. Which makes them really good for fans. Really good for dribbles and springs. Sorry, dribbles and springs. Did that backwards. Um, I don't know why I said they have different handling. Now that I, I haven't handled these in a while. Now that I come back to them. They do handle pretty much the same. I think that it's the steampunk. The silver one is just a a bit newer, so the stock is a bit thicker. Um, but once you break it in, it becomes thin and all that. So again, one of the slipperiest decks I've actually ever used. So so slippery. Uh, for so that makes it excellent, excellent for fans. It was one of my favorite decks to fan. Uh, as you can see, they're almost a perfect one each time. And it does look pretty good on the faces, too, because they did print the pips pretty close to the top left corner and the bottom right corner. Or however you want to look at it. That makes me confused. <laughs> if you know what I mean, top left. Top right and bottom right. No. Sorry, confusing myself. Uh, so yeah, they both have a really, really, really slippery finish and a thin but very springy stock. The look aspect is pretty good. It's a bit boring on the back, and I wish they had customized the face cards a bit more. I do like the recoloration on the silver one, but they could have done a custom uh, face card. Like, here, I have the Sentinels deck here. They could have done custom face cards like that, and more like, more like that. None of their decks really have custom face cards besides the Sentinels, which is kind of disappointing. But, I don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy this deck. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'll get into my ratings now. Now, the stock of this deck, I'll, I guess I'll start with the stock. 
I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because it is very springy, but it does feel a bit thin in the hands, which for some of you may be really good. And for me, it's it's okay. I'd generally like a more of a thicker stock like Illusionist X and the Artifice. But the stock is very good, if, especially if you like springs and dribbles. Now, the handling of this deck. This is, like, for fans and the overall feel. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 because it's just very very slippery and very easy to, to use. Uh, yeah, I really, really, really like the, the slippery feel. Maybe you won't, but that just means that you shouldn't buy this deck in the first place. So, if you really like slippery decks that are easy to fan, this is one for you. And the look, I don't really know what to give it, because these are two entirely different decks. Uh, if they were to combine the back design of this deck and the like the face cards on this deck, that would be pretty cool. I know the silver wouldn't go with that, but still. So the look at the bronze deck, I would have to give an 8 out of 10, because the face cards are just really boring. I really like the jokers, and I really like the back design, but the face cards are lacking. And I'd also give this one an 8 out of 10, only for different reasons. I really like the face cards. I don't really like the jokers, because it comes with a guarantee joker, but that's all fine. Um, and the back design is a bit boring, since it's just black and white. Theory 11 produces a lot of black and white decks, which is, which is good, because spectators, I think, turn away from more of the huge, vibrant decks that look kind of fishy. So, yeah, that's my review on the... Steampunk decks. I'm gonna do a 104 card shuffle. <laughs> now I've got two huge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's boring. But uh, yeah, that's my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.